British sculptor Anthony Gormley brings 12 momentous works to the Aula Maglia Becchiana at the Uffizi. With the exhibition, Essere, Anthony Gormley asks if an object can be the catalyst for new thoughts and behaviours. He makes the visitor experiment with this question by providing a means for direct interaction between the visitor and the works. There are 13 works in the expansive new ground floor gallery, the Aula Maglia Becchiana. Two further works are placed in the context of the historic collection of the Uffizi galleries, and another is installed on the roof of the Loggia dei Lanzi. Gormley, as he often does, affronts the essence of the human condition, not only with the space his works occupy, but with the materials he uses. In Feeling Material from 2008, steel is used to illustrate and contain the form of a human body, while achieving a lightness as suspended from the ground. Rest, from 2012, is a contrast to the metal-based works in the exhibition, as hollow plaster blocks simultaneously provide an impression of lightness and weight. These materials are industrial and functional, a contrast to the natural looking representations to be found in the Renaissance art a few floors above Gormley's exhibition space. So how do these works fit in with the Uffizi's artistic remit? Well, Anthony Gormley in uh, the exhibition Essere um, puts uh, a selection of his works, um, of which many recent works, uh, in direct dialogue uh, with uh, uh, the fundamental revolution of Western art, which was the Renaissance. Uh, but whereas uh, Renaissance art established a new rational um, uh, concept uh, of putting uh, the human body uh, into relation with space, uh, but in a passive way through perception, and uh, therefore used the ancient concept of mimesis uh, for a mimetic representation uh, of uh, the outside reality. Uh, Anthony Gormley uh, starts at a very different angle. Um, he also puts, just like the Renaissance philosophers, artists and mathematicians, uh, the human body into the center of his artistic exploration, but this exploration is not mimetic, so there is no uh, difference between subject and object. Uh, but uh, it is actually fundamentally exper uh, experiential. The show is centered around the presence of two works made over 35 years apart. Passage from 2016 invites the visitor into a 12 meter steel tunnel in human form, forcing the visitor to confront the unknown as they descend into the darkness. Room from 1980, on the other hand, presents imaginative and actual space as the artist's clothes are destroyed and used to create and contain the space of an average sized room. So I just thought it was really a lovely idea to, to bring together disparate uh, materials and disparate scales of work, all with the same idea of asking a simple question, what is a human body? A human body on the one hand is an object, on the other hand is a space in which consciousness arises. And if we can make uh, a sculpture that in somehow, is, is somehow empty enough, maybe there's a possibility of imaginative inhabitation by the viewer in a work like this, but then actual inhabitation in a work like Passage. And what I liked in relation between Passage and, and Room is uh, they both, as it were, abstract the body, or they, they say, uh, you know, the body is like a building. Uh, one made out of my clothes expanded to the, to the scale of an ordinary room, about six meters square, but you are kept out and you just look this arena and you could say well I'm just making a a statement about as it were the human condition that we we as it were act within a given condition. Anthony Gormley Essere is at the Uffizi Galleries until the 26th of May 2019.